Hi guys, welcome to this video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the updated Heliguy Mavic 2 flight cage. Stick around. Now when we designed this cage, we had a couple of ideas in mind of what it would be used for. Namely that for an inspection, but the primary purpose of this cage is to protect your drone when it's in the air. This cage will allow you to do jobs that you weren't able to do previously, namely that of very close inspection work or even inspection work in areas that humans aren't able to access for safety reasons or just the, the ability to actually get there in the first place. Now this cage is designed to be fitted on the Mavic 2 series drones so if you're wanting to uh, upgrade to one of those drones the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced will be coming out very shortly where you can purchase that alongside one of our cages. Now using a person to do inspections like this, uh, it's going to be more expensive, it's going to require you have more safety equipment in place, um, whereas using a drone is going to allow you to do the job faster and cheaper, which is the reason why a lot of inspection companies are using drones. But using drones to do close inspection work can be very dangerous for the drone and of course the thing that you're inspecting. This cage completely surrounds the drone and allows you to operate safely and confidently in those types of spaces. So let's get straight into the unboxing. Okay, so let's get this box open then. So we'll open up the sides first. And then the top. And we should be greeted with some lovely pink bubble wrap. There we are. So we'll just take that bubble wrap out. And you can see the cage. We've also got our user manual, which we'll talk about in a little bit. As well as some cable ties for you guys to use when you're actually attaching it to the drone itself. out the box. So this is the new and improved Heliguy Mavic 2 flight cage. Now the cage itself comes with five major parts. The first obviously being the cage itself which completely surrounds the drone. The other four parts are these four removable connectors. Uh, these are the parts that actually connect to the drone. We'll be showing you how they connect in a moment. These can be removed if you need to. Uh, there's actually some tiny little uh, screws here and that you can see uh, and you'll be able just to unscrew them should you need to do that. Now the user manual that comes in the box also features instructions on how to assemble your cage as well as how to disassemble your cage and specifications. Uh, this can be provided in PDF form if you require. Now we've also included a few of these cable ties as well. So these cable ties are use useful to actually reinforce the connection um, on these connectors with the drone itself. Um, now they are optional if you want to uh, put them on uh, or not. We recommend to do so which is why we've included them. Great, so let's get a drone in this cage and show you guys what that looks like. So for this assembly, I'm going to be using a Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. Now the Mavic 2 series bodies are all exactly the same size, so this will work with any of the Mavic 2 series uh, drones as well as the brand new advanced version too. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the user manual step by step and install this drone onto, into this cage. Now step one is to unfold the legs of your drone and place the cage on a flat surface. Um, the next step is to place the, the drone itself through the top aperture of the cage directly into the connectors. Now we're not connecting them directly up, we're just going to place them in for now and then we can connect them up later on. Uh, it is helpful to place the front legs directly through the holes in the front connectors. That does help the process later on. Now step three is to connect the front connectors. Now this requires you to just press the, the drone's leg directly into the connector and I'll show you how to do that. So all you need to do is you put your hand underneath the connector and press the drone, it, drone's leg in. It will click in nice and solid there and we'll need to do the same on the other side. Just press it in and it will click in, there we are. Now the final step is to connect the rear legs. So I'm gonna turn this around so you guys can see. 
and it's exactly the same as the front legs. We're just gonna take the, the, the drone, we're gonna place our hand underneath the connector and press it directly in. And on the other side, we press it directly in there and it'll click in. And that is your cage assembled on your drone. The drone and cage are now fully assembled. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pop the propellers on at this point. So we've got our four propellers. Now if you really want to, you can put your propellers on before you put the drone in uh, under the cage, but I've found that it's just a little bit easier to pop them on afterwards. It stops getting tangled up in the cage whilst you're assembling it. So all these propellers are now free to spin inside the cage and that is it fully assembled. What you can do at this point, if you'd like, um, is to use the included cable ties. Now, these cable ties will be placed around the section, which is very clearly marked on the connectors. So these will actually go and tie on the connector directly onto the drone. Uh, this does two things. It reinforces the connection to stop any movement in the air. Sometimes vibrations can move it around depending on how you've placed it in there. And it also gives you extra confidence to know that this cage is in no way going to come off your drone during flight. So once you've completed your job, you may require to disassemble your drone for transport. Uh, quite a lot of people actually don't even bother doing that and will just put this uh, in a case and, you, and keep it connected. However, if you do need to disassemble it, this is the process that you should follow. So firstly, you'll need to remove the propellers. So we'll take these propellers off Again, this is not, you don't need to take the propellers off really, but we recommend doing so as it's just, it just makes the process a bit easier. So once we've got the propellers off there, we can now take the drone out of the cage. First thing we need to do is uh, take off the rear connectors. So all you need to do for that is to place both of your thumbs on either side of it and your fingers underneath and press it down and lift it out of the connector. And we'll do the same on the other side down lift out of the connector and the final step is now to remove it from the front connectors so I'm going to spin the cage around so you guys can see that and it's exactly the same process as the other side so we're going to put both our thumbs on either side press it down and remove it from the connectors just like so now the drone is released from the cage and it can be taken out through the top aperture now to date, we have had a number of different industries on board on using this cage, namely that of the police, the fire and rescue service, uh, inspections fairly obviously, but more interestingly, uh, oil and gas companies have also been using these cages. Now we have also had non-commercial users using the cages as well, who just people who want to protect their Mavic 2 series drones. So really if you're in any usage of these drones, this cage is gonna be useful to you. So that concludes our video for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you do have any thoughts, please do leave them in the comments below and like and subscribe to the channel as it does help the channel grow. We'll see you in the next video.